Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to play with some e.l.f. products. They released a couple of new things that I just couldn't help myself. I had to pick them up. So if you want to see me put together an almost full face of e.l.f., then just keep watching. The first new product that I have here is this e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I have owned the regular putty primer and the matte putty primer and I liked them but they never were good enough to stay in my stash. They do smooth the skin. Oop, this just fell right out onto my leg. <laughs> There's a sign right there. It is thinner which me as a texture person would appreciate. So let me just go ahead and put some of this on my face. You can see that it is more liquidy which I like and I'm just going to apply this mostly in the center of my face. I did go ahead and do my brows and my eyeshadow primer. I'll have everything listed in the description box below. It feels like a lotion. Wouldn't call it super lightweight, but definitely thinner than the putty primer. So if that texture was just too much for you or felt too heavy for you, let's see how this one does because that one was a good primer. I'm already warm and my husband, my sweet, sweet husband, made me a coffee. It says, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. I love this cup. So I'm having coffee, which is going to make me even more hot. We'll be okay. <laughs> now that the hair is up, I can get to business. This primer's been sitting, but I'm gonna let it continue to sit. And I'm gonna jump into one of Elf's new, I believe it's newly formulated palettes. I never owned one of the palettes in this size. I saw them released. I was waiting for Ulta. For some reason, I just order most of my makeup through Ulta and Sephora, and this color variation I never saw come to Sephora. So when I checked Elf's website, this is the one that I was drawn to. I believe there are at least six different variations I will make sure to post, but this variation is called Intergalactic, and I was just super drawn to it. Now, I will admit I did cheat. I made a TikTok on the 4th of July. I'll make sure I do a side by side because I thought that this blue would just be perfect for the 4th. Here are all of the colors swatched. We have some neutral browns, a really nice bronze, this pretty purple shade, and then of course this blue that I had to get into a sort of baby blue, a silver, and then a matte white. I will say I was a little bit disappointed with the silver, so I may force myself to play with that one today. I was really hoping that would be more popping, but sometimes swatches do not tell the whole story. And I will say playing with this blue, it is quite chunky. You sort of do get it on your face, so I would always recommend that you do your eyes before your face. I'm gonna go in with this sort of mauve brown shade and use this in the crease. The shadows feel very nice. I'm gonna go in with this silver shade on the lid and this is what it looks like. I'm not sure how that's gonna work and if it doesn't work we'll just add something else. Well that looks pretty good. I can feel it chunking a little bit but I don't mind. I'd rather have a chunky glitter that pops. I've had chunky glitters that didn't do anything. This has a nice pop. Is it my favorite shimmer texture? No, but it's doing its job. I think that looks pretty good. Now what I think I'll do next is I'm gonna take this purple shade and I'm gonna dampen the brush and I'm gonna put that all on the bottom lash line. I like it. I do want to deepen the outer corner though. I feel like something looks unbalanced. So I'm going to go into this darkest shade right here and just press that in to the outer corner. It's not quite black. It's more like a charcoal. I'm okay with that. Just sort of pressing. Yeah, I like that better. Now I'm going to go back into that original mauvey brown shade and just go over the edges to sort of bring back that transition shade. And this is done with the lightest hand. Real quick, I'll go off camera and add my liner and mascara. I'll be right back. 
I'm back, mascara and liner are on. I did leave the mascara off the bottom just in case I add more shadow after the concealer. I'm going to next jump in to my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I just ordered one of these for my niece for her birthday and I was reminded that I do not use this enough. So I'm going to put this under my foundation and I will say the skin is looking good with that primer. So far, I'm definitely liking it better than the original putty. Just gonna tap this in with my Haley's Beauty brush. I do have glitter on my face. I tried to wipe it off. I'm just working with it. Skin is nice and glowy. While I let that sit, I'm going to apply some of the new under eye brightener. I got mine in the shade Fair. I wanted to compare it to my Becca under eye brightener. This is 33, I think this is six. So I'm going to test the textures of these. I still have eyeshadow on my fingers. <laughs> All right, so first I'm gonna go into the Becca. It feels creamy, it feels moisturizing. This is what it looks like on my hand. Now I'm gonna use a different finger. Feels almost exactly the same in texture. Maybe a teensy bit drier, but it still feels moisturizing. And look at that, they look very similar. That excites me because I do really enjoy the Becca. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this e.l.f. here on the right. And you know what? I'm gonna put the Becca on the left. Left is Becca and then I will keep you posted Editing Jen will let you know if one eye looked better than the other. The ring finger is my elf, the middle finger is the Becca. I think they look about the same. Not sure if that's what elf was going for, <laughs> but it looks like it. I'm gonna throw some of my elf Flawless Satin Foundation on. I have mine in the shade Buff, which is a little too light. That's fine, we will bronze. I really like the texture of this foundation. I personally like it better than the CC cream that e.l.f. has. So I just put some on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna tap it on my brush and just go in. I even like the smell of this foundation. It smells like makeup, but makeup that I like. <laughs> it's just very skin-like and smooth. I often just use my hands to blend it in. I'm being fancy today medium coverage. I mean, obviously it's gonna look glowy. Come on here. So I have the Halo Glow liquid filter underneath, but normally it gives a natural, slightly satin finish. Love it, that looks good. And now for concealer. I picked up this little, what is this called? This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer in Fair. I thought that this would make a nice combo with the under eye brightener because the e.l.f camo unpopular opinion i find a little too heavy and drying for me and i wasn't a huge fan of the hydrating camo they're both okay but i'm so picky with concealer what i like about this is that it feels super thin for contour i grabbed my halo glow beauty wand i have mine in the shade fair light which is very, very cool toned. I like it. It does what it says it's gonna do. I don't love the packaging. This is a mess. But the price is good. And I am gonna warm this up a little bit with a more neutral bronzer. Nice. I'll go ahead and add blush while we're here. I have my putty blush in the shade Bali, which is, I would say, a neutral leaning warm shade. This was the first one that I got. I also have like a bubblegum pink, but I just wasn't feeling that today. Summery, I think. But these are nice. Of course, I love my putty primer brush for my cream blush application. I do own three of them. I recommend them to anybody that struggles with cream products. I'm sure you could use this for contour as well, but I like it 
or my cream blush. Gorgeous. Go ahead and blend in that concealer now. Just tap, tap, tap. Do not rub. Did an okay job. My socks are not knocked off, <laughs> but I do look brighter. It's acceptable. To set my cream bronzer, I just grabbed this one from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Bronzer. My shade is Frappe. This reminds me very much of the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. And to set the blush, I grabbed my favorite blush quad. This is one of my very favorite powder blushes, period. You have more peachy shades lighter and deeper. These two are pink. Some have shimmer, some do not. I think I'll go in with this peachy shade up top and just tap over where I just was with the Bali. Again, lots of tapping motions, but this blush blurs. Even the shimmery ones, it's really Pretty. This one and the Essence Baked Blushes are my favorite drugstore blushes right now. The L'Oreal one is nice, but I have to be really careful with it. Now to set the under eye, I have my Ulta. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Setting Powder. I'll go down the T-zone with this because I don't mind a little brightening down the center of my face. And then I'll leave the perimeter alone because I'm kind of like in that effect of the halo glow. So while I was off camera, I went ahead and added my bottom mascara and a little bit of lip liner. Again, I'll have everything listed in the description box. And the last product that I want to play with is my e.l.f. lip stain. I have mine in the shade Cinnamon Dreams. Nice glossy nudie brown formula, doesn't feel sticky, and then it'll leave my lips with a stain which I appreciate. One more thing I'd like to do is take this palette and I love a matte white inner corner. That is just an instant wake me up look. I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my brow arch, a little bit of Milani setting spray because I always set. All right, final thoughts on the new products that I tried. This liquid putty primer, I like it better than the original. Will it keep my oils at bay? Probably not, but it seems to have my skin very smoothed. Hey, I just wanted to check in. The eyeshadow is looking beautiful. The skin is looking oily, but it's not super heavy. I'm not dying to go wash my face. And looking under the eyes, if you remember, this is my left side, this is the Becca, and this is the Elf. I think they both look really good. But if I had to choose, I would say that the Becca looks better. Is the difference minimal? You decide. I will continue using both. I think the e.l.f. is a good, affordable alternative. Hope this helps. The new under eye brightener, I compared it to the Becca. Right now, they both look good. I will keep you posted if my eyes look different at the end of the night. And the eyeshadow palette. I have mixed feelings about it. I felt like the mattes performed fabulously. I had no issue blending the mattes. The shimmers are a little bit chunky. I've worked with better shimmers, but for a $10 palette, I think that this is a good option for the drugstore. The texture of these shimmers actually remind me of LA Girl. The Specifically, the Playful palette, I will post a picture I have. It's almost a putty-like texture, but it can sort of chunk up and separate. So just be careful. Make sure you put your eyeshadow on before your face makeup. But this intergalactic of these new palettes, I do love. I'm glad that I picked this one up. I felt like the other ones just didn't speak to me. One was too warm, one was all matte. This is the one that I wanted, and I'm glad that I got it. So if you want it, I don't know if Ulta will end up carrying it, but right now it's on the e.l.f. website. So I will have everything linked in the description box below that I tried that was new, as well as everything that I put on my face. Let me know, have you tried anything new from e.l.f. lately? What are your thoughts? I appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope you had some fun. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. If you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I upload, which is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up. 
And of course, leave me a comment. I love chatting with you in the comment section. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one.